So in this video, I'm going to do a quick fix, uh, show you how to do a quick fix on any pair of earbuds or headphones that have a rubber wire. Uh, braided ones are not uh, not so common, so you get usually get rubber wires. Uh, namely, Apple's earbuds or ear pods, where they use this uh, special rub type of rubberized cable that feels good to the touch, but it gets damaged easily and it wears out easily, more easily than others. But this works with basically any uh, headphones or earbuds or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so this is basically when uh, this usually happens at the headphone jack. Now, I mean, you could, it could be a fix wherever on the wire. Uh, but most mostly it would be a, uh, the headphone jack bending out like this the edge of the headphone jack now uh, I'm sorry for the terrible call uh, the lighting in this video. It's quite uh, in the evening uh, So sorry about that if you can see there the headphone is kind of bent at the end It's got this slight bulge like that. It's it's gonna break very soon and uh, before the cable inside actually gives way I thought I'll go and go ahead and fix this and you could do this to the end of the earbuds itself or to the headphone jack itself um, depends on where it's worn out so what you're going to need is foil uh, heat resistant foil uh, the packaging foil would do a uh, paper clip maybe be necessary maybe not uh, very important a lighter uh, a scissor and heat shrink heat shrink uh, get anything that roughly fits around the uh, wire you're going to put it on uh, this is a 6 millimeter heat shrink. I think this might be too much, uh, but it, it will shrink. It shrinks more than uh, probably 80% of its uh, original size, so that should fit around this wire. Uh, you can get this at your local hardware store. Just go, go and ask for a heat shrink, or you can get it off eBay and uh, Amazon for real cheap. So yeah, and you're going to need a scissor, obviously, to cut it for size. So first, no, like again, like I said, you need a lighter. Don't use a candle because the candle flame is a bit too much. Get a variable lighter that is a variable knob so you can adjust the flame. This does not, ironically, but uh, just get a variable uh, lighter. This this flame is a bit too much as well, but it's less than what a, a candle would give. So don't use a candle. Use a lighter uh, or a heat gun, but heat guns will take extra, lo extra long. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut out a piece of uh, shrink tubing. Uh, heat shrink or shrink tubing whatever you want to call it uh, to size on this cable now I'll take a bit longer than what's necessary just for uh, make it to make it sturdy uh, I'm start start around here and end up around here so yeah something in that length would be good yeah something around that length okay so I've chosen my uh, size for the tubing uh, and you always should take a bit longer just to make it uh, more sturdy so you cut it use a sharp pair of scissors because you don't want to damage the cable uh, the, the tubing halfway so just check, check whether it fits it does yes it does okay so then now what you're going to do is you're going to get your lighter now be careful with fire obviously uh, that's kind of obvious uh, but before you do that, you're going to wrap the rest of it in heat shrink. Uh, I mean in foil. You're going to wrap the rest of it in foil just so that the plastic does not get burned. Just wrap it a bit in foil like that. Uh, not much, but just enough to uh, shield it from the heat. Uh, so so this, that it won't melt uh, the plastic. Uh, I think I should put it through the wire and then do it. Yeah, put it through the wire and then put the uh, foil on. Just tighten it in there quite a bit. Uh, yeah, that should do it. That's just to keep the plastic from burning. Just make sure not to get the foil, uh, not to mix the, uh, the foil, let the foil go under the shrink tubing. That will cause a problem. Okay, so now the um, foil is in place, everything's in place. Now you're just going to give it a few bursts of flame just to melt the edge of it. Uh, now obviously uh, be careful with the flame and also do this at your own risk. You might damage the wire if you're not used to doing fixes like this. So do, the, do this at your own risk. Uh, I'm not responsible for anything that happens to your uh, headphones or wires. So now let's continue. You're just going to give it a quick bursts like that and it's gonna start shrinking 
Just quick burst, don't hold it as we are working with plastic here. Okay, now it's starting to uh, fix on the this thing. You might want to squeeze it in place, but be careful. Uh, the rubber may stick to your fingers, but if you're not, uh, if you're used to heat like that, it's fine if you just use your fingers to tighten it. If you're used to the heat, that is. I am used to it, but I wouldn't recommend people doing that. The plastic around this headphone uh, jack is not that, it's not weak, so it won't melt that easily. But just be careful in general. Now, this half of the fire has actually been, uh, has actually got. Um, shrunk down to the max. I'm going to turn it the other way. Now I'd recommend at this point you take more uh, shielding, I mean uh, foil and just shield this part of the cable because this will melt in melt very quickly if uh, exposed to heat for long. This part will melt very quickly. So just put it around that. You don't have to be neat or anything with the shielding. Foil is foil. Foil does its job. Just keep a small gap there. And now we're going to heat this part of the thing. This is empty. I remember, like I said, I'm taking extra just to reinforce the cable. Quick burst of fire. Don't hold it for too long. We're going to end up melting the entire cable off and you can just dab it with your fingers quick uh, lightly don't don't hold it for too long because you'll burn your hands well if you're used to stuff like that then that's totally fine but I wouldn't recommend keep doing that Okay, so I've done, uh, I've held the light a couple of times around it and squished it with my finger. Like I said, again, if you're not used to holding hot things with your fingers, don't do it. Just let it shrink on its own. But uh, maybe you can just uh, apply a bit of water at the end of your fingers and just quickly dab it. Because then you can actually mold it into shape quicker and the wire will get less damaged. Because you use less heat when you can just instead squish it with your finger. So now let's get rid of the foil see what we have here okay so the cable itself has been well reinforced it's no longer flimsy at the end a bit of plastic has melted uh, there if you can see but that's totally fine it's a really thick piece of plastic so you don't have to worry even if the rubber itself melts through it's not going to affect the cable because the cable is made out of copper copper has a higher melting point so don't worry rubber obviously melts and a bit of rubber will melt out if you can see there get it to focus a bit of rubber will melt out of the shrinking uh, heat shrink or shrink tube that's totally fine uh, this end has not entirely closed but I don't want to because it's really close to the wire it might the, the foil doesn't go so far but yeah it's quite sturdy now and uh, you can use this pair of ear, earphones or earbuds or headphones for a really long time like I said it, you, could, you could do it for this end of it as well um, just be sure to shield it well with foil or any other heat resistant flexible heat resistant material um, on larger headphones you'll it'll be kind of difficult on, on the big head cap like thing uh, because it's gonna be hard to cover it with foil but I think you could do it and to quickly show you that this was a success and the headphones were not damaged or anything uh, as my one goes so far like I said if you're a rookie and you're not good with these repairs you might damage them but to show that my ones actually work, let me play a song here. As you can see, they work perfectly. And they sound the same as well. So yeah, this uh, fix was a 100% success. So yeah, uh, be, like I said, be careful uh, with fire and uh, if, if your headphones break, I mean, they do, do this at your own risk because it might damage the headphones if you are not used to repairs like this. So do that at your own risk. Uh, also, 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and also subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, links will be in the description for other videos I've done regarding headphones and stuff and I've made a playlist also if you're into headphones and stuff like that. And yeah, thanks for watching.